It is well, it is well, it is well in the name of Jesus. It is well with the soul today. Good morning. God bless you. Thank you for watching our videos. Thank you for staying with us. Thank you for liking our videos. Honestly, you are, are amazing. Father, we thank you. Authority in heaven will bless you. Thank you because you are the ancient of days. Thank you because you reign forever. Father, speak to us today. Bless our soul. Change us. Heal us in the name of Jesus. Thank you for answering our prayers. For in Jesus Christ, wonderful name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Brother, get ready for it. Get ready for it. God is about to do a new thing in your life. If a, if a wet cloth is not placed in the right environment for it to be dry, it's going to be difficult. It's going to take a lot of time for it to dry. If it's not put in a, a dryer or an atmosphere where it's, it, it can dry fast, it's going to take a lot of time. You need to get ready. How do you get? Let's just look at the look, life of Joseph in the book of Genesis 41, 14. The Bible says, Then Pharaoh sent and called Joseph, and they brought him hastily out of the dungeon. And he shaved himself and changed his raiment and came in unto Pharaoh. They sent for Joseph from the dungeon, from the prison. He needed to meet with the king. The Bible says he changed his garment. You need to be at the right outlook, right condition, discard every behavior. You know, you need to be with the right association. You need to be with the right mind. You cannot put on the old way and expect to get to that new level. The Bible says all things are passed away. Now all things become new. Is there any habit in your life that may hinder what God wants to do in your life? Something like pride. The Bible says he resists the proud and give grace to the humble. God wants to give you grace. Let this pride live your life. Is it hunger? Anger ruins people's spirituality. Anger brings you down spiritually. Don't allow anger in your life. All things are passed away. All things become new. Isaiah 43 verse 19 says, Behold, I will do a new thing. And now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and water in the desert. Oh, God is about to make way in the wilderness of your life. God is about to bring water out of that desert. God is about to change that situation. But you've got to be in the right mind of yourself. You want to be used by God. The Bible says, not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. If you want God to use you, you have to be fervent in spirit. He make it the same spirit and its ministers a flame of fire build your fire let there be an hunger for the things of god always yearn for his presence let his presence be what you want as a deer panted for the water let your soul pant after god my shakalabara whatever you are doing let your soul pant after god in the name of jesus father we thank you father we give you praise somebody you are watching me poverty is living your life poverty is living your life begin to reject poverty begin to reject poverty begin to reject poverty i reject poverty in the name of jesus that poverty is living your life god will prosper you god will prosper you god will change you in the name of jesus brethren there are some associations that will not help you like people that kill visions there are some people you will work with they are not even supporting your vision in any way whenever you tell them what you want to do whenever you tell them what god is showing you they are always discouraging you you need to get rid of those people love them with the love of christ but don't allow them to kill your vision Love them with the love of Christ. Don't allow them to kill your visions. Don't allow you to draw it back. You need to move with the right people. As a student, that cost. So some people had 100%. But you are busy working with people that are telling you it's so hard. It's so hard. They cannot pass. You have to do it two times. No, no. Look for people of like-minded, of like vision, people that will support what God has planned for you. Because God is about to do a new thing in your life. You need to get ready by being in those five rights. Right outlook, right mind, right condition, right association, and right behavior. 
Change that garment. Change that garment. I pray for somebody. God will decorate you. I pray God will decorate you. Father, decorate us. Decorate our lives. Decorate our destiny. I reject poverty for you in the name of Jesus. Brethren, get ready. Get ready. Get yourself prepared for it. God is about to do a new thing. He said, I will do a new thing. He always loves to do a new thing. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you praise. In the name of Jesus, Father, do a new thing in our lives. Do a new thing in our destiny. Let this week be glorious as we continue in this year. Father, continue with us. Oh, I pray we will not lose. We will not lose. We will not lose any good things. Somebody will move from glory to glory. You move from strength to strength. You move from greatness to greatness. In the name of Jesus, whatever you have lost, whatever that you are looking for, oh, God is giving it to you. Divine supply, divine opportunity the enabling grace oh thank you jesus father will love you father we thank you lord we give you praise honor and adoration to your name in jesus Christ's wonderful name we have prayed amen brethren thank you for watching please do like this video share with somebody and are you watching me you want to say yes lord you want to confess jesus christ as the lord and savior because he is the way the truth and the life no one comes to the father Except by him. Would you like to say this prayer after me? Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. Thank you for sending your words unto me today. Father, please forgive me my sins. Come into my life. Come and be the Lord of my life. Thank you for answering my prayers for in Jesus Christ. Wonderful name we have prayed. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Um, thank you for watching. I love you so much, and I'm going to see you next time. Bye.